Hello boys and girls, this is Mars, we are awaking it and you can tag along. Uh, I have just uh, gained access to a rather difficult area. And uh, well, the, the very act or achievement of gaining access was quite difficult as well. And uh, and 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 we have also uh, met Octo and then a whole uh, done and found out a whole uh, whole lot of other uh, cool shit. For example, it turned out that uh, Octo wasn't just a robot, it's another AI. Also, it turned out that uh, Art uh, is speaking like that because uh, because of a joke. So that's, that's not normal. <laughs> okay, but uh, this is... Uh, there was also one bit about uh, magma supply which provides heat for this uh, cavern system and I suppose that's what this camera here is picking up. So, let's check it out. Here is one of Octo's cameras. I feel certain these are Megazoa in its view. Attention! These Megazoa are related to the Farron. We will oh. call them Farron Maxis. <laughs> An exemplary Farron Maxis is extremely heat tolerant and able to pump magma up from an unknown source. Magma. So Left Cavern is warmed by magma from deep below, delivered by these plants. Art, are those the roots of the periscopes, the first Megazole we discovered on the former surface? I have determined that you are informed. <laughs> the Calamitosia provided activation to these Farron Maxis within one year of today. <laughs> Less than a year ago. All life in this cave would have lain dormant before this magma flowed. I wonder why the periscopes awoke. What else did they activate? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so... Again, like, uh, she just got to a whole new level. Let's check out the... Research. So basically, these transport for water and these transport. Magma. <laughs> and I guess this is a sort of central big ass organism. Okay. So first, let me check back to the meadow. Heal some. Uh, replenish my supplies. Help. 
Hello. Okay, I don't think there is much here to research. At least not anymore. I will take that seed, thank you. Even though it's technically not a seed. This uh, surface is, uh, is one of the fossilized organisms as well. Now let's see, I don't want to go outside right now, but I do want to come here. This was my first encounter with a little bit of magma.
was my question. Oh, the rainy days. Searched all the Megazoa. Uh -huh. The periscopes, harvesters, hydron maxes, Farron maxes, and Levitroff. Got some new theories to share with me? The puzzle pieces mostly fit together. The Farron maxes pump magma to warm the caves. The ice melts to water, which the hydron maxes keep flowing. And the Byzania keep the heat and moisture from escaping. Life is possible. It's kind of like a human body. Or a well oiled machine. Mm -hmm. The periscopes took the initial step. They awoke and triggered the Farron Maxis to begin the thawing process. But why, right? What's with these things lying dormant for billions of years, only to wake up just a year ago? What changed? How about this guess? The outpost was built around then. Then we pressurized and heated the biodome over it. The periscope should really be nicknamed Snorkels. <laughs> All those little cilia breathing in slowly, sniffing for something. <laughs> and they were confused. They sensed the changes caused by the biodome, but that could not have been what they evolved to detect. I'm also perplexed by the Levitroph. They expand upwards with a force that can crush the cave. Why would that have evolved? Atmosphere. Atmosphere, I tell you. It's to engineer atmosphere. Oh. I think I'm fully stocked with these. Okay then. Oh, 
Whoa. Is this like brain central? Objects are containers. <laughs> they are highly durable to openage at their current level of hydration. <laughs> Art is indicating that they must become wet before they can be opened. Then they must be blasted open. Okay, so that I have done before, but yo, this is a rocket up here. similar frequencies. Try using that visualizer I wrote. It might work on this signal too. Search around and see if you can find any coherent interpretation of the signal. Damn. structure the uh, 
it's a central computational unit. Uh, I, I bet I have an idea what they want. They want. Basically, we have life billions of years old here, and I'm just throwing shit at it just in case. Okay. So. And now. you stood on that platform, the signal oh. went away. Art, I can't triangulate its origins from here. Where was the signal coming from? Attention! The signal emitted from this approximate area. Um. Hello? You're receiving another signal. I guess it must be coming from those things. Yes, Imani. These are the sentients. They are attempting to make contact. We are fortunate for your visualizer, or else we might be without any means of communication. That's awesome! Here comes this next signal. Okay. So, like, do I, do I have to move around, or, or what? Shown them that we are listening. <laughs> um, okay, so the uh, growy cucumber and cabbage patch aren't enough of evidence, apparently. Sentience indicate now. This seems familiar. It's the power station. I recognize the outline. You are correct, Amani. Then that is where I must go. <laughs> Groovy. Uh, where's the power station? This one? Oh, yeah. Because I may have 
made some contact with the uh, command central doesn't mean uh, you shouldn't be prepared to interact with the more basic ones. So, do you miss home? Uh, I feel a connect, but yeah, I'll be really glad. To yes, no, no, it would be no good to greet our colleagues. Right also to have dinner with my brother-in-law's family, who I have not visited with in some time. Okay, so I guess I'll have to find some specific location here. Woo! Not magma. Good art. You are correct. This depicts a water seed. <laughs> That's how humans talk. So splash. <laughs> so is this like the IT department? Okay, so now I think now they show the uh, solar system model room again. Mm. I suck at this. They could be uh, sort of uh, uh, making sure that that you have. Oh, okay, now I have to tune it in again. Sort of, uh, I think they check that uh, they have the whole whole library, uh, basically all components uh, in place. Okay. What next? I think this is the green one. Oh no, it's a purple one. I think. You know, the thingy. Okay, 
way it's just noise on this side. Can't find the sweet spot right now. It was the purple one. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, I'm imagining that it's sort of fixing up the little computer in in the power core here, and and I have to hand it uh, the tools. Okay, I think it's the green one, the basic one. Maybe. Hairy teeth. Hmm. Okay, so it's not this one. It's this one. Attention! The power station is now delivering significantly more power to the core. Great. A harvester now contributes two units of core power when its chamber is at biomass level four. It contributes four units at biomass five. Whoa, that's double the energy the core had been getting from the harvesters. Looks like that sentient souped it up. <laughs> or perhaps after all these years it was in need of repair. Core power seems vital to the sentience. Hmm. I should return to the helm. I have a theory. Okay. And I think this is a perfect place for a cliffhanger. Otherwise it's too much information all at once. So hang in there, Leon. And bye bye for now. And see you soon.